Calculate the moment produced by the weight of the hanging basket about point A. So in this situation, point A is our pivot. And we have the hanging basket, which is exerting its weight force downwards. That's 120 newtons. And that's the line of action of the force. And we know that the turning effect of that force can be found by multiplying the force by the perpendicular distance from the pivot to the line of action of the force. In this case, that's 0.4 meters. So there's a bit of a red herring here. That 0.6 meters is not actually needed. Let's just throw you off the scent. So let's set this calculation up. So first of all, let's do a list of data. We know that the force that's creating this turning effect about A is 120 newtons. And we know that the perpendicular distance, that's the distance which is at 90 degrees to the line of action of the force, is 0.4 meters. So D equals 0.4 meters. We don't need to convert any units here. We're in meters and newtons, so that's all good. And we're trying to find the moment and that will come out in units of Newton meters. So there's our data list. Here's the equation. Moment is equal to force multiplied by the perpendicular distance from the pivot to the line of action of the force. Brilliant. Let's put the numbers in and solve this equation. So M equals 120 times by 0.4, which will give us 48. That's our moment. And let's state the answer Newton meters. That's the unit for the turning effect or moment. So there we are, simple calculation to find the turning effect of a force about a pivot. And watch out for red herrings in questions.